Hello everybody, I have a CD here. I trace it onto a cardboard, made about three pieces of them. I have this five and a half width, 15 inches length of cardboard. I took off the, the top sheet to show the corrugated part. And this one is like an, an inch of cardboard. I just uh, squeezed it to soften it. And the length was also the same, 15 inches of length. And with this, you can see I'm wiping it with the wet wipes to just remove the excess paper. Then I will paint it with the Waverly plaster. Only one coat. I set it aside and I will start to just glue these pieces together, the three cardboards. This is a very simple craft, very economical. I just use cardboard and one piece of scrapbook paper and a little of the lace from Timo. Then once this is done, I will start to just remove the excess paper of this rice paper. This is from a site. I will just put the link onto the comment section so you can just uh, click on the link if you are interested to get this rice paper. Very pretty Santa Claus design. Then I will apply Mod Podge. You can see on the corrugated part uh, of this cardboard, it has spaces in between, so I have to put Mod Podge on those spaces and i will start to just glue this and as you can see i did not glue it right away onto the cardboard slowly i do it because i want the rice paper of course to be glued also onto the spaces of this corrugated cardboard so i dried it using the heat tool and now i'm using parchment paper and you can see i'm using my fingers my thumb to just you know uh glue it onto the space all those spaces there and it really is very very lovely then i have this scrapbook paper i will trace the corrugated cardboard onto there so i made about two pieces of this you can use any cardboard of your choice then i will cut it this the core is not just for christmas if you like for thanksgiving for fall whatever season you like you can use you just use your own scrapbook paper and different rice paper so this is deco art dazzling metallic splendid gold i got this from hobby lobby i will paint this just one coat i'm using a foam brush to do that then once dry i just rub the tea light candle onto there so I want this to really have a distressed look and once I already totally covered it with a candle, I will paint this with the Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel and as you can see, I'm just on a dabbing motion using this chip brush. Then I will dry it. So using a scouring pad, I will just scrape a little bit of the paint to show the gold and I will do this as you can see on the video I just rolled it onto the side a little bit off then once glued I will glue the rest of the scrapbook paper onto the cardboard so I covered it with the scrapbook paper and the reason why I painted it all it's because I was already holding this uh, paint brush so i'd rather just paint the whole thing with the waverly plaster earlier so i do the same thing on the other side but i tried uh, using the dowel to do that it's the same process i rolled it on the side a little bit off then i'm going to just uh, glue it onto the cardboard so it really is very very pretty i love it so i touched the two ends together then of course to soften a little bit of this i also squeeze it with my fingers so it will be easy for me to glue it onto the round cardboards 
So once done, I will start to glue it. Just as simple as that. Then I will continue to glue it until I totally cover the three pieces of round cardboards. I put an excess of the scrapbook paper to cover just in case uh, it will show the edge. So that's the reason why I cut it a little like an inch bigger or wider. So now I am gluing it. I like the scrapbook paper. It really is for Christmas. It has designs of stars. So you can just, uh, if you're going to make this kind of graph, just try to fix the shape of this um, cardboard to really make it like look like a tin can. Then I have this piece of lace. I got this from Timu. I will just cover, wrap this around the edge of the bottom of this craft. So I will say this is a cardboard can. So I will continuously do that until I totally covered it. And I ended up, of course, covering with a piece of lace also the, the ends of the scrapbook paper on the back. So now with these two pieces that I cut, I will just glue it just around inside this, this can. So it will retain the shape. And it will make it really very sturdy. And I, I tell you, it's really very sturdy. It looks like a tin can in person. So I do the other uh, cardboard as well. Right on top there, inside. This is a very nice craft, very econ uh, economical, budget-friendly. If you're going to make this kind, uh, it doesn't have like... I've mentioned it doesn't have to be Christmas. You can, this is very open to any possibility, any design you like. So to make it simple, I just use this uh, leftover twine. I got this from the stash actually, I just found it. I made a very simple bow. Then I will just attach it at the bottom of this piece. Then I will put a bell, a rustic bell. The rustic bell, I got it from, actually, it's from a happy mail. So I have this floral foam. I will cut it and I will put it inside. It will also help retain the, the shape of this. About two pieces of them. Then I will put the Spanish moss to cover it and also to help it look like it's really real vase. I got the Spanish moss from Michael's. So now I will just decorate it. So I just showed you how I made this cardboard can. So I did that show to you how I arranged the artificial flowers there with the cardinal. It really depends on you. It's optional. Everything is optional here. Whatever you want to put, decorate. I just showed to you how I uh, assemble this cardboard can. So if you like to see more of my craft ideas, please go to my main page. Please click the like and please give me a follow. This is such a pretty craft. Very, very economical. Use your cardboards at home. And I really am so pleased with the outcome. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you like it and you're going to make your own. Thank you and till next time, friends.